G'day and welcome to the Tech Math channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to continue looking at some basic algebra, okay, and a few little uh, ways of expanding and factorizing and all these special little things you like that we like you to do in algebra and that sort of deal. And, and it's a really good thing to get worked out. So when you get onto more complex algebra, if you have to do this, uh, it, it, it's not such a hard thing. So I'm going to go through a couple of uh, rules of what we're having a look at here. So first off, we're going to be having a look at the difference of two squares rule. Uh, also, we're going to be having a look at perfect squares. And we're going to be looking at these, okay? So first off, I, I want to actually have a bit of a look at what is meant by this idea. Well, first off, what we're going to be having a look at roughly is where we've been having a look at these sorts of questions, okay? Where we're trying to expand these sorts of problems, okay? And... You might have, if you've been looking at these earlier videos, you might have realised that the answer to this one, you know, we've got x times x, which is x squared. We're going to do x plus 3 and x times 2. So all together, that's plus 5x. And then we have 3 times 2, which is 15. Okay, so we can expand these out. But we're going to be having a look at a little tweak on these and how you can get some slight variations to this. Okay? Now... I want to start out actually having a bit of a look at this idea of perfect squares. So perfect squares. Um, a perfect square is a number, a pronumeral, an expression, which is the square of another number, pronumeral, expression. So what do I mean by this? Well, if you can imagine uh, 1 or 4 or 9, these are numbers which are basically the square of another number. Okay, So if you can imagine that 1 squared is 1 or 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9. Okay, we, you might actually even imagine this as a square. You might even think of a length and this being an area. Okay, so if we have a length and we had a square, okay, um, so say we had, say, something like this, as, as hopefully it comes out as a square, something like this, a bit, bit of a rectangle looking square, this one, <laughs> okay? But what we would have is, we could have a side length of 2 and a side length of 2, and we've got this area of 4. Now, we can use this idea also in algebra, because say we have, say, something like, uh, a perfect square would be called, say, something like, uh, imagine if you had x squared. Well, this is the same as having the side lengths, if I could draw this square once again, of having the side lengths of having x and x, okay? Or we could have 9x squared, okay? Where what this is, is we had 3x by 3x. Or we could even, okay, so I'll put this down here, we could even go this next step where we'd have this sort of thing, uh, x plus 1 squared, okay? And if you could imagine this, x plus 1 squared, this is like having x plus 1 times x plus 1. So this is where we have x plus 1 as our side length. Okay, so these were all ideas of having this perfect square. And we're going to be looking at how to play around and how to solve these. A couple of little shortcuts with this. Okay, this is the perfect square shortcuts are fairly uh, similar shortcuts to the one we were just having a look at then. Okay, but I'll first off, before we do that, I want to get into this idea of this. First off, we're going to have a look at this thing of the difference between two squares. Um, now, so say we actually considered expanding this particular expression here. Say I gave you this one here, and it was A take B. And in brackets, I gave you A plus B. And I said, OK, I want to expand this here. And now, if you were to expand this, you would get the following, okay? And this is using that same sort of uh, idea. You're going to start seeing I have a bit of a way that I do these. But we have... I'm going to, I'm going to actually do this the long way. We're going to start multiplying this one by this one. So we end up with A squared. We've got this number, A times B, so plus AB. We have this number by this number, minus B times A, so minus AB. And we have this number, minus b times minus, uh, times positive b, which is minus b squared. Okay? And what you're going to realise, possibly, is that we have positive ab and negative ab. These guys cancel each other out. So what we're left with is this 
I squared take away B squared. And I'll put it up there because what we actually got there is a handy little rule we can actually start to use and I'll, I'll show you how this actually goes, okay? Um, so I'll get rid of this extraneous stuff here and just see this particular rule that we're left with here. So say you were asked to actually um, and this, this is the root, just before I go on, what you notice is here we have the difference between two squares. This is called the difference of two squares rule, okay? We have one square here and the two squares there, so it's called the difference because the difference you work out by subtracting. Now, we can use this rule to solve a bunch of different uh, and expand some different types of uh, expressions. I'll give you an example here. Say, and you can do it fairly immediately. Say you had, say, something like 9. Uh, take away x and we also had 9 plus x okay these both in uh, brackets or parentheses there now how would you go about doing this what you're going to realize is uh, we can actually follow this particular rule along we don't have to go 9 times 9 is 81 uh, 9 times x is 9x uh, minus 9x and then we get minus x squared because we can actually follow this particular rule this is one of these certain types of ones where we actually have the positive the negative here and the positive there okay and so if you see one of these expressions what you can do straight away is this you can look at a here and square it so 9 times 9 is 81 and we're going to take away this times this x squared there's our answer okay so this is a fairly immediate type thing you can do using this rule Hopefully you get that. I'll give you another example here. Say we get, say, something like, um, well, what about we do x plus 3, x minus 3. Now, it doesn't matter whether this is a positive 3 or this is a negative 3, then this is positive 3, but as long as these ones, we've got the same uh, letters here, we've got the same numbers, but one's a positive and one's a negative. Okay, and so we can immediately answer this one out. We've got x squared. And here we're going to end up with minus 9, okay, By, plus 3 times minus 3, okay, and uh, uh, we can get this immediately. And this is where this difference of two squares rule is really, really handy, okay. Um, what about we do a bit of a harder one, what about I do uh, 8, take away 5a, and you can probably guess what I'm going to have on the other side here is going to be 8 plus 5a. So, if we were to expand this out straight away, 8 times 8, 64. And we're going to, to be taking away 5 times 5 first. We do the, that um, coefficient first and then a squared. Okay, and we can do this immediately. So how did you go with those? So that's a difference of two squares rule. Now I want to, so that's expanding using that particular difference of two squares rule. And so it's a really, really shortcut way of doing things, which I think, you know, you want to be able to do fairly quickly. So that's one of the shortcuts you can use. We also have this idea of, expanding using the perfect square rule and I'll just go through this uh, really really quickly but I'll just I'll show you the how this works but I'll show you how I prefer to do it so say you give an expression like this this is the expanding using the square perfect square rule so we have a plus b and this time we're squaring it okay so we've got this perfect square here and we want to expand this which is equal to a plus b a plus B. Okay. Now we can go through this right now and we can do this type of thing where what we did is we would go A times A is A squared. A times B. Okay. A times B is AB. B times A is AB. And B times B is B squared. And we're going to end up with A squared plus 2ab plus b squared and this is the rule which is known as the perfect square rule okay where you end up with particularly these ones here okay so this is equal to this here okay so Look, I, I, that's all well and good, and I'll show you an example of where you, did, you could use this, right? You could easily use this where first off you did, but I, I, I want to show you how I, you know, a little bit how I'd actually otherwise tackle it, because I think this is, you know, this is all well and good to realise this perfect square, but 
I, I have a different way I prefer to tackle these. So say you got say something like uh, what about we do four plus x and we square this. Well this is going to be equal to well a squared which is four squared which is sixteen plus two a b. Okay, this is a and this is b. So four x times two is eight x plus b squared, so plus x squared. And so you can immediately get these out using this particular rule, and you can see how fast that can be, right? But I'll tell you how I actually also, and look, especially if you have the expression like this, I think that's not a bad method of doing it. But for me also, if I'm actually giving it a little bit differently, if I'm actually was giving it like this, uh, 4 plus x, 4 plus x, Another way you can do this just to confirm, obviously, you can expand this the normal way. I also would look at it and go, I square these two numbers first, 4 times 4 is 16. That's the first part of our expression. Then I'm going to have 4x and 4x, I'm going to put them together. Okay, 4x and 4x is 8x, and then I just end up with the x times x at the end. Okay, this is this idea of this rainbow multiplication, which I've looked at in other videos. Okay, so one last example of this. What about we do this type of thing where um, I'll make a bit of a more difficult one. What about I actually do this, uh, okay, yep, actually, what about we just give you give you one and get over it. Uh, what about 2x plus uh, 4, and I want to square this. So this straight away is a squared, which is 4x squared. Okay, 2ab, which is this times this, so 8x, 2x times 4 is 8x, times 2 is 16x, plus, and then plus b squared, which is plus 16. Now, I just want to actually, I just want to go through one last one of these, because I think it's we haven't actually gone through one of these where we have a negative here. So say we have uh, this here, and we have minus 5 squared equals. All right, so let's just do this really quickly. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Min uh, 2 times minus 5 is minus 10x. 2x times minus 5 is minus 10x times 2 is minus 20x. And then minus 5 times minus 5 is plus 25. Okay. So how did you go with those? It's, they're just handy little tricks to know, especially a bit later on when we're going to be trying to factorise these. We're going to be trying to go from this type of expression and send them back this way. But we had some little tricks for doing this as well. Okay, so hopefully you feel okay with these. Um, and it's just an extra little step on being able to work with it, work with those. So next off, we're going to start having a look at factorization, which is basically turning this type of expression back into this. It's a little bit harder, but it's not that bad at all. So I hope to see you then. Bye.